I am on my farm in Kimelili, Lutonyi Kibinkei. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can see these people are two people with the two oxen. They are pulling a plow. What are they doing? This farm has been prepared for planting. And planting must be done scientifically. In other words, you can see now they are making trenches, which must be a distance, a known distance apart from each other, like a meter or so. And then within these trenches, the plants will also be planted at a, a scientific distance. So these oxen are using a yoke. They have been put together using a yoke. This yoke, that uh, wooden wood that uh, makes, I mean, that, that ties them together. You can see the yoke. It has a special distance. Now that distance is the one that gives the measurement of the trenches. You can see that there are two people. One is guiding, one is guiding the oxen. One, he encourages the oxen to move. He encourages the oxen to move. He also makes sure that the oxen, the one inside ne next to us, must walk right in the trench that has been made. The one outside, the, the gentleman with the ox thrown, uh, with the plow, directs, directs the plow right in the footsteps. Direct the plow right into the footsteps of the oxen that is not in the land because the distance between the two oxen is what makes the meter apart so he is busy directing the oxen i mean the, the plow into <coughs> into that uh, into the feet of the outside watch as they turn the oxen that was inside now comes outside you will now notice that like the the spotted oxen is now to walk inside the lens and the reddish oxen goes out and look at the gentleman the gentleman the stick that the gentleman is using is soft he is he cannot beat them with pain in fact look at how he's walking with them he's just guiding them and when they feel him then they know they are guided and they move uh, pretty well the cows need or the oxen need comfort and to need comfort normally the person guiding the oxen has to comfort them from see, by singing a bit so that they feel comforted and we want to ask him to try eh, to try singing a bit kuimbako kidogo tuone vile tunaimbanga kwa kwa tradition yetu waze imbila ko chikhaf jino kubone wase eh look he's actually talking with them He's just telling them what to do. Hmm? They can sing any song, can say, that's one type of song. Another one would say, 
Oye ya umbole la sina Biala bibiange umbole la sina Oye ya umbole la sina When you sing songs like that They encourage the cows, they soothe them and they have become more obedient in doing what they are doing. Biala bibiange umbole la sina Oye ya umbole la sina Nende bibiange umbole la sina Oh, yeah, yeah, um, boy, the Lassina. And you see now the gentleman encouraging the cows, the, the coxen, to move on. And this way, within. Pazin, the moon, Pagimi, starting at no, Yarawa, Pam, Chia, Kachingahu, Nemarot. Ah, and he's saying that uh, normally they start in the morning to the drenches of two acres in a day or or, uh, or at a go at a shift because they don't want to overwork the car, the oxen and therefore two acres is a standard uh, measure period and 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 acreage than the 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 oxen can do without being overworked so this is i want you to know when when when, when they come back i want you to notice the structure and the architecture of the yoke and the things that tie the yoke and the oxen so that they do not hurt uh, the, the oxen and but here we are doing uh, farming now watch this uh, yoke watch the sticks that are turning them that watch how Watch how the cows have been tied such that they do not strangle them. And this is now, this is the, the plow. And this man is, he has a panker in his hand because when the soil sticks on the plow, then he uses that panker to remove that soil. This is it. respond? Now you hear that whistling. That whistling makes them to stop. They understand the whistling. That whistling makes them rest. They, they understand, they have an understanding about that sound. You see now he's doing it, and this gentleman now is cleaning the, he's now cleaning the, 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 the plow using the panker, and therefore that matter they have to rest, they have to stay. As soon as, as soon as they have finished whistling, and they want to go now, he gives them a command. They are commanded now. Uh -huh. you, you heard what he says, he says, come up. That is exactly... I mean, it's an English come. word, but come. come you see, you see now. Actually, come. we we have borrowed. He's saying, ah. "Come, come up, Alafu." Come. He now encourages them, and they continue. You see now. After he has whistled, they have stopped. Now, commanded them to end. Move. Aha, move. You see what he had? He said, "Move." It is actually. And I am made to understand that today, dairy farmers are using music to put, I mean, to, when they are milking their cows, they make music, put on music, and that music soothes the cows, and that the cows, therefore, produce more milk. You can see, there are certain sounds that have not been discovered not that they have been discovered now our people used them from time immemorial only that they didn't know the meaning you know like the whistling what effect has the whistling to allow the oxen to stop when you whistle then it stops and you you see even the the dog the dog that is the dog that is moving with these uh, 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 people, we always say, 
dog is the best friend of man. When I whistled, that dog actually also looked at me. The whistling has therefore some effect. It can be used to call our dogs. If you have trained them well, you whistle and the dog comes. Either it knows you are calling it for a purpose, food, or even to direct it. So the whistling has a meaning. Maybe scientifically, someone can study and say, what does it do on the brains of a dog, on the brains of the cow? And as I, I mean, on the on oxen. As I was saying, the cows now, I mean, modern dairy farmers have discovered that some soft music will act on the brains and body of the milk cow. It relaxes and more milk is is collected when it's relaxed form. So we, we are saying we are doing farming now scientifically. In the future, I don't, um, I will not doubt you if you told me that you will have now earphones. Along those yoke, you can do some earphones into the, uh, for, for the cows and therefore you can now reduce the idea of two people directing this auction and the music. You are just one person. You are holding the, 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 the plow and they have the music and the extensions. So you have it like just like in the studio, for example. And therefore you start commanding. The role of that commanding person can now be converted into one person. So... I would want to see research done because now we have understood that music has a particular meaning on cows. Some commands have particular meaning on cows so that to reduce the labor that we don't, we don't need to have two people, you can have now that music, those commands, and then put them into the earphones or on the yoke. And as the person holding the, the plow talks to the cows, I mean the oxen, command them, whistles and whatever, then we can end up having just one person uh, doing this job and the labor intensity is reduced. I, I hope researchers can do that because we have just seen whistling has a certain uh, effect, tells them communicate to the oxen, commands communicate to the oxen. Why don't we digitalize? that whistling, those commands, and probably mechanize and or automize this uh, 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 plow so that just one person is enough to do the job that was being done by two people. In India, the, I've seen a clip from India, this work should have been done with a motorcycle. The motorcycle will be the one that making these changes. In Kenya right now, Kenya, Uganda, East Africa, the motorcycle, which we call border border, is only on the road. And of course, the accidents uh, associated with motor motorcycles are many. Just three days ago, I buried my brother-in-law who died due to uh, motorcycle accidents. I went to the police and I saw so many motorcycles that had done accidents. Maimed people, killed people and all that. Why? Yes, we know now the motorcycle in Kenya is only used for transport, border border. The competition is too much. Many people want to get a motorcycle, a border border and go onto the road. Now, if we can also get other uses of motorcycles. If the motorcycles can start making these trenches, then indeed we are now one mechanizing the, the lands, but also we are uh, making agriculture a little sexy, so to speak, and therefore the youth can therefore start being attracted into agriculture. This is the best. You see, now it's looking at me. Oh, 
and they stopped because they heard me and the dog heard me and is also now waiting because I've just whistled. It is waiting to see the next command and if I don't do anything, it will continue walking. But because I whistled, it stopped and is now expecting my command. This is what I'm talking. Certain sounds can mean differently and therefore research on it found or done well will actually help in terms of being um, uh, friendly to animals reducing the labor uh, on the farms and all that oh sorry sorry when i whistle they stop aha yeah now you see what is being he has stopped them though so that he removes he removes the dirt from the ox, from the plow, using the panga. And therefore, uh -huh, he said, come, come, no? Come, come, come. It's like, come, come. You know, when it's going ahead and he says, come, he's telling it to come back. And it's actually a direct translation from English. Oh, oh yes. And this, this oxen, have their specific names. Yo ya inje muna ito ati you read. Una iswara. I maridadi. You can see maridadi like the spotted one. It's called maridadi. The outside one is called swara. So if these cows and are, 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 um, this oxen and other cows are just grazing freely, when you call the name uh, swara, it will turn. For example, if it is heading others into eating other people's crops, just call them by the name and it will come back. When Maridad does not hear its name, it assumes everything is okay. So those have names. And if one of them is going outside the, the lane, you call its name, Swara, and it goes back in line. Maridadi and it goes back in line. So there is also meaning in giving them the names. Thank you for watching this video. Please like. Subscribe and press the bell icon to get new video updates.